Hello, everybody, and welcome to Helena High School. And we are at week seven in the state of Alabama, and week eight at the, uh, and week eight in the game of Tennessee. We are excited to be here tonight, and I'm joined by the mayor of Helena, Alabama. Mayor Brian Puckett, how you doing tonight, Brian? Man, I am great, and I'm glad to be back. Glad to have y'all back here. Two years in a row is a wonderful thing. Yes, yes, and uh, Helena, as we were coming through and everything, a lot of things are going on as we can see the construction on the hill. Uh, what is, uh, let's just kick it off, uh, what what got a lot of job openings I see that yes. you're trying to hire some people and, uh, and would love to have some employees. Absolutely, so we're growing as a city. We are uh, about to 25,000 residents now, so. And that's up because it, uh, the census said left them around like 20,000. So you've grown 5,000 just here recently. Correct. We annexed about 2,500 people about a month ago. Okay. So, so yeah, we're growing quick both in people building new homes coming in, but then also expanding our territory as well. And that extra money for property taxes and everything, how much does that help in your budget and your yearly circulation? Well, we have the lowest property tax around. So Really? Yes, we're only at five mils. So... We don't make much money off of the property tax, but we like having the people here because they're going to shop here. Yeah. And that's where we're going to make our money. What, as far as infrastructure, when we talk about water, sewer, and, and trash pickup, and all the things that you deal with in the city of Helena, if you had a magic wand and you could wave it, what is what is something you need fixed right now that you probably don't have the money for? What's the biggest thing leaning on you? Water and sewer. Water and sewer. By far. Just lift station or clean water? Well, you need a pumping station? Ju just getting it out to where we need to get it out to, the water, the sewer. Uh, we spent about $35 million in the past three and a half years just on water and sewer alone um, without taking any bonds. Is that debt. replacing old lines or yes. just new lines? Because a lot of lines are old and they were two inch and you want to go right. to you want to go to a six inch, which drives up the cost. Yes. Yeah, so, so a little bit of it was it's an infrastructure that's 40, 50, 60 years old that hadn't been touched in years. And then a lot of it's new that we're coming in, bringing in bigger pipes and, and making sure that we're getting good water flow you know, five miles, seven miles, ten miles down the road. What What do you think's fueling the drive for people to want to come to live to Helene? Is, is it to be around Brian Puck at the no, mayor? No, 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 absolutely. That's the worst thing people want to do. No, they come here because of our schools. Yeah. We are, we, our schools are phenomenal for our community. Now, they're county schools, but us as a city, we put so much money back into the schools as well. Uh, you get the little bit of the best worlds is you know that you're going to have a great education. Uh, coming in here, but then also you're going to have that small town culture uh, that we love to promote. So no matter how big we get, we're always going to have that small town culture. Second week in May is a big is a big weekend for you all. It is it is it is Helena. It's Helena's you know flagship and oh, everything, yeah. and that's that's the Buck Creek Festival. You know you you look at you got over 70 vendors. You have tons of activities throughout the weekend. The big huge duck race. At least 10 food vendors. But what I was surprised is. Your hospitals, your nonprofits, your real estates, hair salons, uh, eye care centers—I mean, all kinds of different other people get involved. So it, it is a—it is. I mean, everybody's involved. Nobody's left out when it comes to the, the Buck Creek Festival. Absolutely. And this year they had to do it a little different. So it's actually going on this weekend for oh. this year. Uh, now it'll be back in May again. So if everybody's listening right now, come take the drive on down here. Come down 65. Hit down here. And, and what we'll go enjoy on, the show. Uh, and so what will go on tomorrow? So, I mean, when will what will kick off the activities tomorrow? So tomorrow at 10 o'clock, the music will start off. You'll have vendors and everything you had mentioned. Uh, so music from 10 to 10. Duck race will be at 3 o'clock tomorrow. So and how many the, people actually get in the duck race? There's probably about four or 5,000 ducks sold. Really? Yes. So it, it is a great event to see all those yellow ducks just flopping over the waterfall. <laughs> And, and, and what does the winner get if you actually win the the Buck Creek Festival duck race? What 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 is what and the, and the duck wrangler actually get your duck yes. in? What is what is what is the prize? It's a cash prize. It is. It is. It's uh it's a mainly a fundraiser for the for the high school band. Okay. Um, and so but the top three winners do get a little cash prize. It's it's not a lottery or anything like that. So we don't want to you know break any laws in the state of Alabama because they're sad here in Alabama. Right, right. But, you know, hey. Market days uh, yes. where the vendors come in and, 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 and the 
vegetables and some of the yep. things are sold. How big is that for your community? That's that's huge. Um, to be able to bring local growers from around the area into one central location, so you can go and and grab your your fresh beef, your eggs, your vegetables, all those kind of things. But then also you have your artisan and your crafts that are there as well. Uh, so it's a little mixture of everything. But every single Saturday during the summertime. Uh, that uh, the market days are going on, and it's an absolute wonderful thing to bring the community together. What needs to happen between now and the end of the year for City of Helena for you all to stay on track? I mean, you, you've got your weekly council meetings and, and, and things like that, but is there anything that you guys got to get done before the end of the year? Yeah, uh, we've got to hire some more personnel on our public safety side. Uh, fire is that hard? Is that I saw you trying to get a fire chief. How do you go about that? That's a, that's so, so we did get a fire chief. We named him last week. Okay. Um, and and so, you know, it was shocking to see how many potential candidates will come out of the woodworks when a job like this opens up because that's the first time the chief job has opened up in 30 years here. Wow. Wow. So it's one of those jobs that everybody wants because it's a great environment to work in. We, You can see all the blue fire trucks, rescue units, and all that around here. So we like to put new equipment and, in their hands. And fire trucks aren't, aren't cheap. They, they are they're not. They're, they're the most expensive thing you'll ever go down the road. And you got to start like right now if you're going to buy one in three years. Correct. That's right. So we uh, so we got three in right now that uh, we had two that came in in the past couple months. We ordered those two years ago. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. But the good thing is, is by the time they get here they're already paid for it and you know that's good for you to say you got so you guys are doing well as a city staying up on staying ahead of the change as we like to say in the state of alabama yeah that's right um one of the things that you know i've got a financial background that's what i came and did before yep. i come in yep. here. and planning and, yes. bit, and, so, and so, urban planning so so with that i've been able to translate a lot of that into lowering our debt so we have no outstanding debt other than the bond that's here on this field in this athletic complex other than that the city's debt free so we're buying everything in cash because we know that if we do things the smart way and do things the right way that long term will be better off yeah you can't let uh, as what you say creep come on top of you yep. and you wait to the last minute absolutely Mayor Puckett, I can't thank you enough for stepping in and uh, coming up here and being on Stork Vision and everything. We're gonna, Judy and I are gonna come down and stay a weekend when we're not doing football. Have you show us around? Absolutely, the town I'll give you the grand tour. I'd love to go to the museum and yep. see everything. Not, not many, not many cities have their own museum, especially a city of 20, 25,000, yeah. But you got your own museum and everything. Absolutely, so come back, enjoy it, relax. But thank you for being here this night. Thank you, Mayor Puckett. It's Puckin. always great to have you here. Thank you, Mayor Brian Puckett, the city of Helena, and we appreciate him joining us on Stork Vision for the night of the Briarwood Helena game.